nothing. But a lot of times when we take shots in this game, it's like, like you just don't know. It's like a box. It's like Forrest Gump. A shot contest is like a box of chocolates. Uh, you never know what you're gonna get. That's what it, that's what I really be feeling like, man. Like you, it's like sometimes the dude will be ten feet away from you, he jumps and get a thirty percent. Sometimes he'll be on the bottom side of the pick and get a fifty six percent. Sometimes you're standing right on the guy's feet with your hand up, and it says open or wide open. Walk up in the life. Yeah, I'm really am. Talking my sh life. I'm really him. Hold up. Look, walking this bitch like, hey, yeah, I'm really him. Good morning out there, 2K lad, man. Check this out, man. Full disclosure, as always, almost 11,000 views yesterday on almost 800 likes, man. Y'all really, really are rocking with your boy. As such, somebody will be receiving that goat status, goat status, goat, goat status, goat status, goat. Let's try to see if we can get the 800 likes today, man, because like I said, y'all boys are all the people that are responsible to getting us to the moon. And the only way we can do that is for you guys to let's get 200 likes in the first 1500 views And that gets us exactly where we got to go, man And like we always said if nobody told y'all this today y'all my brothers my sisters my family Love each and every last one of y'all and to show y'all that we got the Notre Dame wall of fame, man Check it out anybody come through and just say what's going on? Is <laughs> it what in the world are they doing this year? Notre Dame and is it 2k need to fix shot contest logic and take the jump and take the uh, the jump push BS out of the game and stick to one shot time and find a way to not let uh, to not let control work to the zins and all. Okay, so pretty much he's saying they need to fix the shot contest, take the jump and all this stuff out of the game. But we like this stuff because we like being able to change our jumpers and tailor them. And then also, uh, they definitely do need to take the zin BS out of the game, man, because we know that a lot of people out there playing right now that were complete and utter trash, and right now they are sensational hey but uh, also and then my guy up there he says how do i order a shirt man get some tees in your breeze when you're rocking with breeze tees man i put the link down in the description the link will always be in the description top comment from yesterday man it just says hey this is zaire he says it's funny how mike how mike said he wanted the shooting averages to be more realistic so he tweaked the green window but lets people average six deals a game so you uh so you so you want scoring to be realistic but not defense, man. Hey, man, I, I, that's a bar right there, bro. I can't even get mad at it, man. Like, like if that's how you feel, that's how you feel, and that's exactly what it feels like, man. Because on a lot of on a lot of levels, the scoring is op, but on, also the defense is really tough. Like I said, I feel like we can get bumpy enough so that we don't have to rely on steals this year. But hey, some people feel like if, if you're dribbling in my face and all of that good stuff and you're just making mistake after mistake, I should be able to take that Brock from y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the description, man. When With all that out of the way, yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out. We're just gonna start it off with the Quavius Young, uh, the, the top 10 report, man. Now, we already know that my boy Quavo Quavo is down here in 36, but he's definitely moving up. He hawking. He hawking. Hey, but right now, we got Random Wizard stays in the uh, stays at number one. Cash Out stays at number two. Uh, Original Malik at number three. 10 GFG number four. Key Sticks at number five. Still Swag Steel at numbers. Uh, swag Steel at number uh, seven. Then Nate, Nate went from nine to seven. I mean, uh, Swag at number six. Nate went from nine to seven, so now Will GFG is at eight. Uh, Enzo Nasty is number nine, and uh, a Dem 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 Moy's on Twitch. He's still number ten, man. So hey, like, that's our announcements for the day. Please govern yourselves accordingly, man. Now we about to get into some stuff today. It's gonna be a little bit controversial, but before we get into the things that are controversial, make sure y'all like the video and comment your thoughts down below, man. Cause listen, like I said, two hundred before we get to fifteen hundred, that gets us where we going, man. Appreciate y'all, man. You know I gotta drop a shameless plug uh, every time, man. Check this out. Okay, so the next news we got is. Brendan Donahoe has stepped down as the NBA 2K League president. And they just said on uh, he'll, he's going to stay down to October 31st. We're just paraphrasing. But, you know, he's uh, he's a sport business veteran. He's staying up to October 30th and oversee the things. And then uh, they says, I don't know who they're going to replace him with. I don't think they really have. But that's the statement that they put out from the 2K League. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. My man seems like he has been a good president. He's been, uh, you know, he the league has seen great growth under him i don't know i mean this is the first inaugural season in 18 2018 
and uh 19 ish something like that so 2k 18 was the first inaugural season so that would have been 2k 18 i mean in 2017 and 18 when that happened hey five year run six year run man you can't get mad seven year run whatever whatever you want to call it since it's from from 17 to 2023 that's a six year run hey man dmx said i ain't i ain't a, i'm not a greedy nigga. all i want is a five year run so hey he got six hey if i don't make it then y'all finish that out in the comment section man so hey big shout out to him man do your thing big dog do your thing best of luck to you all all the way up next hey man it seems like quick drops is mike i said quick drops is mike hey solo says Quick drops off one is back. Uh, it's back in NBA 2K24 at starter three. And you got to have uh, 80 driving dunk and 60 vertical uh, in order to get that joint, man. And then Key Sticks, he just put it out. He's got the proof right there. And uh, y'all can't really see it, man. Can we? I'm not, I'm not even going to try to zoom in. But, you know, he just put it down there, man. This is, this is where it is. This is where it is right here. We got it. it yeah, it's here. It's Key Sticks. It's everything. And uh, he's there with it. He probably one of the only people that's going to be using that joint because you can really get on that rim in this game. So it's not it's not one of those things where it's going to be a game making or game breaking thing. Quick drops off one is cool, but it's not the end all be all like it is. And you can really you can really go in there with some of that. Filet. Up next, we got Zach Tillman says, "What is your favorite bat to hit?" Somebody says, "Spot Finder." Uh, and he says, I'm running around like Rip. And then he says, Shh. hey, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Like, spot find is cool, but I, I mean, it don't trigger all the time. I'm pulling the trigger and it, it just doesn't do it for me all the time. So when it works, it works. But when it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, he says, uh, why Why when I tap the square, <laughs> my player goes goes up instead of going into a pump fake? And he says, standing and moving. But we ain't, we ain't worried about all that. I want to know what y'all favorite badge is. My favorite badge and most satisfying badge, honestly, is Chase Down Artist. It's nothing like when somebody thinks they got a free rim run and you just come up behind them and sneak up on them and you like, ah, ah. Shit out of here, nigga. That's what I like to do right there, man. Speaking of which, we probably going to drop Razor with Randoms tomorrow. Uh, if I got any editors out there, can y'all holler at your boy, man, DM me or something like that? Because I need somebody to edit this stuff for me. I, um, you know, I don't have no editor and I really don't have the time to do it. I will do it, but I don't have the time to do it. We probably just drop it raw, man. So, you know, it is what it is. Up next, we got that boy Key Stick saying that this is the lowest three-point percentage I've ever seen. Making it be big, man. Check it out, bro. Hey, listen, bro. Listen, my boy. Now, this is probably somebody that's complaining about the game itself. It ain't the game. It's you, bro. Like, you have to try to 1.6. It's one of those, it ain't like, 1.6 is not like 10%, 10%, 10%, it's not like one of those numbers like 10% or 8% or something that you can hit where you take 12 or so threes. Hey, you literally have to take like over 100 threes in order to shoot 1.6%. That's like 2%. Like you got to shoot at least 80 threes and hit like what, five? I think that's eight. I think that's 2% out of 80 or something like that. Somebody tell me down in the comment section, man. But, or you got to shoot 100 threes and hit like two. I don't even know what the lowest common denominator you can do to get 1.6. But Jesus Christ, 1.6, hey, that is absolutely insane. Let me know what the lowest free throw, I mean, three point percentage you guys have seen in the comment section, man. Key Sticks being a point of emphasis this morning, man, as he says, hey, for a game, this right here for a game is crazy. Look at him with the step back, Trey Ball. Yeah. Now, what, now I'm gonna tell y'all something about this, man. This, this, I, I'm cool with everything, man, but why is the shot contest so inconsistent? We've seen, like right there, that says, oh, y'all can't see it. So right here, it says wide open. It's wide open, and I feel like that's wide open, man. But a lot of times when we take shots in this game, it's like, like you just don't know. It's like a box. It's like Forrest Gump. A shot contest is like a box of chocolates. Uh, you never know what you're going to get. That's what, it, that's what I really be feeling like, man. Like, you, it's like sometimes the dude will be 10 feet away from you. He jumps and get a 30%. Sometimes he'll be on the bottom side of the pick and get a 56%. Sometimes you're standing right on the guy's feet with your hand up and it says open or wide open. I don't understand the shot contest system. And that's what's so frustrating about it because Mike, they, I don't know if it's broken or if it's working as is. If it's working as a sign, I'm fine with it. But it just seems like it's broken to me. Y'all let me know what's the craziest contest y'all got when you thought you were, when you thought you was blast ass open and then they got a crazy contest on you. And then also let me know, like if you're watching this game right here, 
right here, bro, this dude is taking, he's going to be taking shots. And I feel like I'm right there and they're going to be saying open and wide open. So it, it, it is what it is, man. Up next, hey, we got this thing. Uh, this is from 2K, uh, 2K Lab. They said 90, this is 93 versus 71 acceleration. And they're pretty much saying that acceleration does not matter. It just, it, you know, it's about the same thing. And it's crazy to me, man, because I definitely understand that it doesn't matter. It, it should be resolved. It, it's gotta be fixed. All this stuff has to be done. Don't get me wrong. But why is it in the 2K community we only complain about? See, when I hit a 26%, I say it shouldn't have been 26%. That's why, that's the only reason I shot it, because I thought I was open. But it's still BS that I hit the shot. It's BS. It's BS. It's BS that I hit the shot. But but it still shouldn't have been 26%. But, you know, it'll, it'll be like, well, when we get those ghost contests, I'm like, dang, man, I, 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 I don't even know if that should have been a contest or whatever. If there was consistency, I don't think anybody would care. But with this, last year, when 71 Excel was all you needed, everybody looked at it like a big W. Like, yes, I can take advantage of this. I'm just going to have my guy with, uh, with, with 71 acceleration or 80 acceleration, whatever it was. And you, we found out that it was, it was pretty much all the same. And then we use it to our advantage. But this year, can you use it to your advantage? Are you able to? I don't know. It is what it is. But like I said, when it's an advantage for us, we never complain. But when it's something like this, we, uh, you know, we're we, we going to say something about it, man. Hey, rightfully so, man. It is what it is. And to that point, we're going to look at this clip by um by uh, the OG Grandmaster Sensei saying that there's no speed gap in NBA 2K24. Uh, I be seeing, see right there? Look at this. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's roll that back real quick. So this is my issue with the contest system. You see what I'm saying? I'm right here. I'm on him. I'm stepping up. And bro, even though even though we can say, okay, he's going up, and I'm I mean I felt like I was there, but obviously I'm not. It's wide open. Okay, fine. But there's a lot of times when the dude jumps from a similar distance, and that's that's covered. Like like we saw the thing yesterday when uh. When when uh Elite Shooter did the same thing, and I don't know if they do. I got Hall of Fame Challenger. I, I think I got. I might not have it this month. I think gold badges don't work. But I had Hall of Fame Challenger, uh, and I mean it just didn't do anything. But anyway, back to Swante, man. He's just saying that hey, uh, main ball handlers get down, get get down. I mean, to get get downgraded so badly that uh you know it is what it is. So we're gonna we're gonna go over here and look at this clip that the OG Grandmaster Sensei has for us. And you know what I'm saying? We just gonna, we just gonna do a little, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we gonna do a little, little, little critiquing on, on this bad boy, man. That, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what we're, that's what we're going to do. So if we can get this to be full screen, I don't know if I can get it to be full screen and have my tools up here, but hey, we'll, we'll, we'll do it live, forget it. So check it out. So he's saying that this guy, you know, you see 70 people with 70 speed, you know, that are that are locking up guards or what have you. And a lot of people are probably gonna look at this and say, well, I mean, he's not locking him up. He's just doing a very good job of denying him the three. And that's what I think is happening here. Like he's just doing a very good job of denying the three um, because he knows that you want the three because it's like, so what Swansea was saying, well, he's like, people thinking, you know, he's gotten beat several times. And, um, and, and he's like, why don't you just take it to the rim? But he's saying that, you know, it's, it's it's 18 to uh 20 it's 18 to 20 so you know he's got to get a three or what have you don't you think that the guys guarding him knows that also i know he want a three i'm not gonna let him have one now when he's saying that he's reaching and he's able to stick with him i definitely agree with that you shouldn't be doing that and i wonder why i mean this this is your problem right here you got two over here this guy got his back turned. You can't go this way because, you know, even though he's got his back turned, you can't go this way. But then he's beaten. You could be able to run right here and take the shot. But guess why you can't? This is a team issue right here. I don't know why your teammates are over here, but that's a team issue right there. Because he could definitely run right here, get to that spot, and take the shot. And he's in take. Then right here, you got him crabbed. Most people are taking that shot, but I don't know why he's not taking that shot, taking that shot either. He can definitely take it right there too. Then you got him beat again. Now right here, you just got to go to the rim, but you still got him beat to the point where this guy has to look in at you. And then you got a wide open shot right here. So I really don't see what the problem is because that's a three pointer. Gunning must have smoked that bitch. That's why they mad. You're not mad at, I mean, I don't know, man. Are we mad at the game or are we mad at the fact that 
you're not able to get a shot in certain situations and there's times and times and places where people know exactly what you want to do because like my homeboy said there's some motherfuckers out there that's get good at this game too everybody ain't trash at it so some people know exactly what you want to do but i will tell you one thing my partner that I, like like i get what they're saying and that you know a center shouldn't be able to hold somebody like that but my boy six six seven could never like listen man like this is what Sid would have done. He gonna come down court, take a step back. With take, with take. Look how many people are on him or guarding him or whatever. I guess it's just different levels of competition. I don't know, but he he he. Because the floor is not even spread properly for him. Look, he sees the open spot. The guy's turn runs away from him. You got three people right here, but he's in take. And then I, I messed up the shot. Look, three people right there. He's in take. Look. He really don't have the open spot either. Step back, makes the space. So like I said, man, I don't know if it's like, you know, like like we just want the game to be one way or we don't want to augment the game so we can, so that we can do our thing or what have you. But I mean, I think, I mean, crying about it ain't gonna make it no better. But like I said, but see, and, and the thing is, I get what they say because that is a definite, and they always do adjust the speed table with 2K and all of that. But some of them guys with 78 speed got 91, um, perimeter defense and and they say you know y'all listen to all these other people they say that that, that the seven that the uh, 91 perimeter is your is your defensive speed or your crouch speed so hey he got 91 or something then he should be able to keep up with him because i'm sure he don't got 91 xl but hey it is what it is so uh that boy iggy mo came through and said he got bumped twice he wasn't going uh he wasn't going up uh you say good guard score on iso with the center dang near every time uh you know with with the R2 fade or something lethal. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I just showed y'all to see it did. And then right here again, we're gonna we gonna check this out right here. Like I said, bro, I, I really felt like I was there. I really felt like I was there. And it, okay, so they definitely gave me 40%. Okay, I ain't mad at it then. It's just inconsistent. To me, that's the same thing though. To me, this is the same exact thing. I don't know if it's if it is to y'all, but to me, it's the same thing, bro. To me, like maybe we watching two different things but but to me this is this is the same thing or similar i'm either not there or i am there uh i mean i guess my hand there before you start putting it up but i mean to me to me it's very close i don't know man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section bro it is what it is but anyway iggy said he bought him twice and you know he's got to use that r2 fade or whatever and then swante came back and said so you're saying it's not a problem with the 70 80 speed locks um, and the center's keeping up with the 93 XL guards. All guards feel the same way that I said. I ain't saying that that's not a problem. I'm just saying that he could have found a way to score. That's all we said. Every lock has 80 plus speed, and yes, people move slower with the ball in their hands dribbling compared to when the ball isn't in your hands. Uh, that's how it works. Dang, dang, dang. That boy Iggy putting out them fights, boy. And then I, uh, uh, Swante says, disgusting. Red is in take. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that that makes him faster too. A little. Red is taking. Red is talking about Buddy going for a reach behind him. Uh, behind him and still be not. That that is wrong. He if he takes a reach, he should be able to outrun him and still be able to keep up easily. He he went for two reaches and you don't see any real reduction in anything. Also, uh, he had he had he had his hands up uh, and still was able to recover easily. I think that uh, I think that. That's a popper. I don't think. I mean, a pop, a popper, popper thought process. I don't think. I mean, I guess it is what it is. Hey, somebody, like I said, this is the worst representation of, of a brother. This is the worst representation. This is a clip of dude getting boxed. He had the face left on the wing, but went back, uh, went back into the defense. And then we had uh, one person just say, "Pass the ball." Hey, I mean, that's definitely an option too, which he did at the end, but the dude probably stoked it, man. It, I mean, it, it just it just is what it is. Hey, up next, we got Hanky the Tanky talking about, you know, how defense is just fair and balanced. And pretty much what he's saying is this warp animation right here, it happens too much and it's something that they should look into. Uh, that's just clipping. It sucks when it happens. But uh, yeah, I mean, he he actually blocked the shot and said it shouldn't have happened, man. So, you know, it is what it is. Last but not least, that boy, po boy Sam. And he says, Mike, is this going to get fixed? And this is exactly what Mike was talking about. You know, they had to get fixed. That's the like the little yo-yo and animation type joint. And uh, and then so Mike came through and then he said, yeah, that's going to be fixed next patch. And then we got, uh, you know, it's like Baluba, can you fix this right here? And, uh, you know, this is just 
like you know when you get pushed out of bounds or whatever and then mike just said boom i got you so it is what it is man it's a lot of stuff to be worked on but i don't really want them working on too much man because if they work on too much you saw what happened with the shot meter this weekend we don't want them making too many changes because when they make one change they inevitably change something else and we don't like that man it is what it is oh y'all want to see what happened with that game man um i just made it dude at the end of the game i knew what he was gonna do i i hadn't reached the whole game so i got on the side of him and then he just gave me the ball and we won so uh I, if y'all didn't see that but that, that's what i do this is how this is how i act with my reaches i act like i'm a person that's not gonna reach and then i do anyway let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man and i will holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.